hear me ladies and gentlemen the days that are before us will demand people not just of godliness not just of character but people of courage what happens to you when you are threatened when your life is threatened on account of the gospel what happens to you when you are threatened to say you must give bribe in the office otherwise they are going to fire you do you have an encounter that tells you i rather lose my job like the three hebrew boys i hope you know at the back end of every miracle is on bending trust number two what is the second result that comes with pressing for encounters supernatural empowerment to demonstrate the might and the power of god to your world supernatural empowerment to demonstrate the might and the power of god to your world i like this supernatural empowerment to demonstrate the might and the power of god to your world i believe in the supernatural john 4 48 jesus was speaking and he said except ye see signs and wonders he said ye will not believe a popular scripture here romans 15 and verse 19 romans 15 and verse 19 15 19 through mighty signs and wonders and by the power of the spirit of god he says so that from jerusalem and round about unto Illyricum, i have fully preached the gospel the gospel is not fully preached until the power dimension is captured in the gospel i am not ashamed of the gospel of christ he says for it is the power of god unto salvation he says the kingdom of god is not in meat and drink in righteousness peace and joy in the holy ghost the kingdom of god he says again is not in word but in power the demonstration of power encounters bring to the life of the believer supernatural empowerment to demonstrate the might and the power of god to our world in Acts chapter 1 and verse 8, having encountered Jesus for a period of three and a half years, he left them with a promise. He says, ye shall receive power after that the Holy Ghost is come upon you and you shall be witnesses unto me both in Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, to the uttermost part of the earth. Listen to me, ladies and gentlemen, we need power. Settle it once and for all. Power is not for preachers. Power is not for apostles and prophets. Power is for believers. He said, tarry ye in Jerusalem until ye be endued with power. I have taught you here. It takes power to excel in business. It takes power to be wealthy and remain wealthy for the kingdom. He says there is something called the power to prosper. It takes power to stand upon the truth of God's word. Warding of all the yokes of darkness that daily continue to skim themselves to bring you down. I hope you know that there are forces mandated by hell at every given point in your life and your christian experience you are a project in the kingdom of darkness let me repeat it if you do not hear let me tell you the truth the bible says the whole world lieth in wickedness for as long as you are alive and you are found with your life to serve the purposes of the kingdom there are demons and spirits assigned to you their assignment is to bring you down and to make sure that the counsel of the lord does not stand in your life in your ministry you will be joking to believe that there are no spirits assigned against koinonia or against joshua selman but thanks be to god which causes us always to triumph mama you need power so that the devil does not make a ship wreck out of your children man of god you need power without power listen to me things will go down in your life and you will be surprised businessman you need power you can buy and sell and make financial decisions but hear me there are spirits the king of tyre will manipulate the economy to make you lose so that you cannot sponsor the church it takes power can i tell you the way demons plague our world today it it used to be people did not pray respectfully speaking it was not a prayer point for a woman to get pregnant and give birth to a child but now it has people get married and the next project is prayer for the next one month because you are not even sure you just watch and see no it takes power 
it takes power that as a woman you lay your hands and say i will not only give birth my womb will not produce an arm robber my womb will not produce a devil it will not produce a demon kings will come out of my loins is someone learning supernatural empowerment you need power to live in today's world encounters bring power one day you get up you just touch a part of your body and you see some swelling coming you would think it's just a little boil then it begins to grow then it begins to grow in two weeks it has grown to be twice the size of your tie and they tell you ah, 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 ah. you have 10 more days to live in the name of jesus i declare over anyone here if there is any stranger roaming around your body and around your life everything that has not been planted by my father by the power of the holy ghost i take it out of your body now Take it out of your business now, out of your ministry now.